Uh, okay, uh, my name's Todd French. I've been running a uh, grease fuel collaborative for the last couple of years. This is the uh, my filtering system that I've, I've used for that collaborative. I uh, filter vegetable oil for uh, people who drive their cars on vegetable oil. So uh, all this stuff uh, and my Jeep Liberty diesel is going to be for sale and uh, this is uh, my video showing uh, my filtering process it, it, you know, as well as uh, illustrating some of the things that are going to be up for, on the auction block uh, this week on eBay. Uh, so it looks like a big mess of uh, wires and pumps and hoses. It's really a pretty simple idea. Uh, this is right here, this barrel is my uh, tank where I warm and, and dewater the grease for the filtering process. I'm then going to move it up to this barrel uh, and in doing so I'll put it through some 10 micron sock filters and then it'll go into one micron sock filters in the same process and into this barrel. It'll go down through the centrifuge and uh, into the holding tank uh, ready for uh, fueling. So uh, I'll uh, illustrate that now. Okay, so that's the uh, the raw grease straight from the restaurant. I like to uh, heat it. I put a couple heaters in there and they, they'll go for a good 24 hours or so. I like to get it up to uh, sustained heat of 180 for at least a good six hours to, to dewater and that's uh, knowing that there isn't any uh, residual water. You know, I, I like to suck off the top of the, uh, the dumpsters. So uh, I'm just going to put a hose into it and uh, we'll suck it up into the first barrel. Okay, so I've put the cover back on uh, the barrel below. I've, I've climbed up here uh, and I'm looking into the 10 micron barrel. Uh, as you can see, just for illustrative purposes, I've, I've taken off this insulating uh, uh, surround, uh, but uh, I'm going to reach up here and take one of these 10 micron filters and put it into place and start pumping. Turn on the pump. And it starts flowing. Now, of course, there's a 50 gallon uh, batch down there. This will fill up to be 50 gallons. Uh, and then we'll transfer it over into uh, the one micron barrel and it'll be ready to go through the centrifuge. Okay, so by the way, this uh, red line pump, uh, along with all this other stuff, is for sale. Uh, it's got a meter on it and an inline filter uh, that you can uh, use to do some pre filtering if that's the way you want to handle it. I've now uh, pumped into this barrel, so I've got the intake hose going down into the barrel now, and the out is going into the one micron. So I'm uh, going to pump into this barrel. Okay, so uh, that barrel's full. From here on, it's a, it's a gravity-fed system. I'm climbing down the steps here. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's a line that comes out of the bottom of the barrel, and it goes down to the top of the centrifuge. So once again, just for uh, the purposes of illustration, you can see that uh, w with this valve, it's easy to turn that flow on and off. Then we're going to go... Uh, down into the centrifuge, and, and uh, as I say, it's all gravity fed from here on in. This is a simple centrifuge. Uh, there's a precision uh, weighted bowl on the inside uh, and a, a custom fabrication on the outside. It's really pretty simple uh, and, and easy to use. It's just uh, a, a line of caulking here that, that keeps a seal. Uh, the uh, uh, grease comes down into the centrifuge, uh, is spun through the bowl. Uh, the bad stuff stays in the bowl, basically, and the good stuff comes out. Uh, down through this line. Uh, I have one line that goes down to my bad bucket, that's for waste, and one line that goes into my holding tank. Uh, so uh, right now this is in the on position, so it's going to start uh, shooting uh, material down into the, the bad bucket. Uh, once I have a good flow of good material, I'm going to shut that off, shut this on, and everything good will go into there. So let's try that. Okay, so it just uh, fits on like this. I don't know if you'll be able to see in the video, but there's uh, wing nuts, and y you can actually see the seal being made as, as, you, as you press that down. It's nice that the silicone has a little give to it. Uh, another nice thing about this uh, centrifuge is that there's a big bowl. It's easy to clean out, and you can see what's happening as you go, and it's real easy to, to use. You just uh, turn it on, start that flow, as we talked about. Here it comes, and you can see it going into the bowl now. 
This plexiglass is uh, getting to the end of its life. I don't know how many gallons I've used it for. There's some little hairline cracks and some other stuff, so I'm going to replace it for the sale. Uh, here we go. The bowl's starting to fill up now. I apologize, this is a little hard to see, but you can see the bowl is filling up now. And it's just about, yeah, there we go, now it's starting to spill over. You can see it spinning around the outside. And, and there we go, you can see the flow is just starting to go down now. That's the bad flow. So I'm going to let that run for a minute, and then I'm going to start the flow down into the tank. Okay. And there it goes. That's your source of vegetable oil. Uh, and uh, from here, we're ready to go fill the car up. So from here, the holding tank uh, has this line that goes up and out. That line comes out to our little Backwoods <laughs> filling station. So it's just like any other filling station. It's got a, a meter so that people can pay what they owe. Uh, and it's a pump just like the one inside. You turn it on. So this is my 2005 Jeep Liberty. Uh, it's a diesel. They made them for 05 and 06. And, um, and it's a grease car. Runs on vegetable oil and diesel. I'll, I'll explain more about that in a future video. But for the time being, uh, that's where the grease goes. And you can see it filling up over there. And that's how you make grease fuel. Run your car on it. <laughs> 